If you guys ever watched Jurassic World where they thought, yo guys, what if we made a dinosaur that was like a giant velociraptor, but also had camouflage, was able to mask his heat signature, and also made it super smart? And then like pretty much everyone abandoned the island after incredible death and destruction. Well, I had the same idea, except for the dinosaur, it's a broken character, and the island is Smash Ultimate. Today, I wanted to compile moves from Ultimate, so no, we can't just transport Brawl Meta Knight, and theorycraft the most broken possible character. We're gonna start with the character's stats. You know, we can't just do moves. They gotta have the ability to smooth to make them truly busted. For these categories, I gave the character ZSS movement stats. ZSS is top 10 in almost everything movement related. Fast as hell, super mobile. She's gonna be great for pressure and combos. I think this is better than just maxing out each category. You know, it'll just feel like hero acceleratal if I max everything out. And it's impossible to control at that point, so might as well go with something that's already great. While we have the stats of ZSS, the height and weight won't do. ZSS is tall as hell and is pretty light. In Smash, the smaller the better, and the heavier the better. I feel like we'd cross a line if we made a Pichu Bowser hybrid. You know, I think Pichu might be too small to work with for most, you know? So something like Diddy Kong or Greninja height, I think would be a lot more feasible, you know, easier to control. But yeah, of course, we're still gonna give him Bowser weight. Next, we gotta choose the cheese mechanic. You know, like the MP meter, the wing, the KO punch. We can't just give him everything, you know, he's gotta have one. And I definitely think it should be our Sen. Like float or having Luma can be busted in the right hands, but a blind infant can take a stock with our Sen, so we're gonna go with that one. All right, so now that we can imagine the character's size and speed, uh, real quick, from now on, we're gonna call the character George. That uh, character has way too many syllables. All right, so now that we can imagine George's size and speed, we're gonna move on to the Shmi, the move set. Now we can't just slap on the best of every move and call it a day. You know, they gotta have synergy. Some moves gotta kill, some gotta pressure, some gotta combo. It's not that easy. With the stats we got going on, George is gonna have some oppressive ass movements right off the bat. And so we gotta take advantage of that. I think the first thing we gotta do with George is have him subscribe to the channel to be truly busted and optimal. Okay, sorry. Now let's start with the easy moves that have not much competition, basically. See, for most moves, I'm gonna weigh the pros and cons of different types, but for jab, this is too easy. Crom's right off the bat. The jab back air is a Crom and Roy classic, but imagine instead of Crom back air, it's Palus or Clouds. It doesn't even need to be back air. Imagine connecting it to a Byleth up air or Bowser forward air. Stupid potential here, fellas. And Crom's jab is larger and doesn't have a sour spot, so we're gonna go with that one instead of Roy's. For a down tilt, we're gonna go with Rob's. A lot of good down tilts in this game, like Mithras, which is frame 5, or Lucina's, which is good for tech chasing, or Diddy's, which combos into itself and into smash attacks. Rob down tilt does all of that, and better, and even more. So yeah, this was pretty easy. For neutral B, we're going with Shulk Arts. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for like Let's move on. Hold up, okay, I gotta justify this one. I know I said we only have one mechanic, but technically this is just a neutral B that simply happens to be busted. We'll count it for now. So just imagine them with Shulk Minata Arts, but we'll revisit this later to see if maybe we should change it for ethical reasons. For down air, we have the privilege of guaranteeing no suicide kicks. God, I hate those. Pyrus has gotta be the best so far. Have y'all seen that shit? It's huge. Pikachu's is cool because it has a landing hit. Ganon has a murdery one, and Richter has an interesting one, but nah, nah, Pyra is definitely the move. Okay, so these were the free ass picks. We got a combo tool, a f you tool, an even bigger f you tool, and a kill move. And we're only four moves in, baby. Next, I want to talk about throws, because they'll be important for later. Well, I guess before throws, we gotta have the grab, right? Grabs in Smash Ultimate are pretty universally laggy, and so what matters more is not necessarily speed, but range. So tether grabs, as a result, are generally considered better than regular grabs. I want George to have Samus's grab. Reach as far as hell, has a good Zare, and works as a tether. Pac-Man and Luigi are both solid since you straight up can't dodge Pac-Man's grab, and Luigi's has a built-in projectile, but I think the versatility of Samus's wins. Since the more options you have in this game, the better. For forward throw, we're gonna go with cargo throw. This is too iconic not to get. It's four grabs for one. Plus, we can get free combos in an up air, which can be dangerous for our character. For down throw, you know, we can either do a vanilla down throw like Luigi or Incineroar, which sends him right next to us, or we can be big ballers and have Snake's Chad down throw. I think you know which one I'm gonna go with. For up throw, I'm gonna go with Mewtwo. I was considering Bowser up throw for combos, but that really only works at early percent. Having cargo throw is more than good enough for combos at this point, and so having a reliable kill throw is super necessary to make our character busted. For back throw, I'm gonna go with Incineroar. It kills earlier than Ness is at the ledge, and if we're not at the ledge, then we just use Mewtwo up throw. 
privilege! Okay, so now that we got the easy moves and the throws, we move on to the other moves that we can start working with. For up B, I'm thinking George needs a good recovery as well as something that has a good out of shield. Villager and Rob got it covered with the distance but are too exploitable. Shulk, Bowser, and Lucina have great up the out of shields while also being able to kill, but each has their own weakness. Pikachu's is pretty busted, and I was gonna go with it until I remember Game & Watch, duh. This move is stupid, great range, fast, amazing out of shield, and it's also f***ing invincible at some point, so yeah, no, let's go with this one. Some up smashes like Pit or Greninja are fast, but honestly tragic, and so when it comes to up smash, we want something with range, speed, and can preferably be used out of shield, so I'm thinking we do Min Min. It's the same speed and damage as Fox's, but has stupid range, to the point I'm pretty sure something like Chrom Jab into Min Min Up Smash will be true. Game & Watch and Snake were other contenders, but I feel like the range and quickness of Min Min is more valuable. Also, it has a reflector, cause why the fuck not? For Forward Tail, we have a ton of options. We got hella range and coverage with Seth, brute strength and speed with Bowser and Incineroar, Range and speed with Chrom and combo potential with Squirtle or Sheik. While all these F tilts are situational, I think what helps a ton is having one that can be used at the ledge and can cover a lot of options. Out of all of these, I think the scariest at the ledge is Sephiroth. Covers all options with good timing and even if you miss, it's so long, it's safe at a certain distance. Imagine being at the ledge and having to deal with Chrom Jab, Sephiroth forward tilt, and Rob down tilt all at the same time that can be schmixed equally well. Oh. Oh baby! For F Smash, I was torn between two busted F Smashes, one being Little Max and the other being Min Min's. But then I thought about it and Little Mac is the one character that if they just continuously spam F Smash, I get kinda nervous more than I do get annoyed. There are faster or more range or more powerful F Smashes, but with the armor Mac has, it just kinda gives them the perfect combination of stupid. Sonic's F Smash was another one that made me second guess this, but because Mac can angle his F Smash downwards to make it safe and get tech chases while doing 24%, it sounds very nice on our character. You know, some forward airs are multi-hits and that's, um, neat, but I'm biased and I honestly think that Sortie's got some of the best forward airs in the game with how good it can combo in space. So I'm thinking Shulk is the move here. It is huge and fast. Bowser was my second choice because that's also huge and strong, but it doesn't have as much range as Shulk's and it's a bit slower. Doing Shulk fair into Sephiroth f tilt and then mashing Game & Watch up B when you miss those two moves in a row is gonna be so obnoxious to deal with. There are so many good back airs in this game, it's hard to choose. You got a stupid combo back air like Pikachu's and Lynx, a smash attack in the air with Wolf, safe as hell back airs like Mario, Donkey Kong, and Inkling, and ranged as hell back airs like Sephiroth or Cloud. My initial pick was Palu's since hers is invincible, but Cloud I think takes it here since it kills earlier, has more range, and it's safer. With George, we have the ability to go super deep since he got ZSS double jump and Game & Watch up B, so we can murder with this in a way Cloud can't because of his recovery. Next we got up air where there are also a lot of good ones. You got up airs that combo into itself and other moves like Mario, ZSS, and Chrom. Up airs that combo into itself but don't need a combo into other things because they're stupid like Fox, Ivysaur, Palutena, and Byleth. And then also murder up airs like Bowser, Ike, and Ganon. I really wanted to go Byleth because imagine this disjointed, long lasting ass move on a character that's not Byleth instantly busted. However, Ivysaurus is the way to go. A tad slower, but it does more damage, kills earlier, and it has less landing lag. Also, this means we have Cargo Throw with Ivysaur up air. Yup. For dash attack, we can have Schmeet dash attacks like Ganon and Terry, combo dash attacks like Greninja, Fox, and Meta Knight, and burst dash attacks like Wolf, Snake, and DK. I really wanted to do Snake since it's just so spammable and dumb, but I feel Greninja's would make George busted. It's a fantastic tool that connects into literally all of Greninja's aerials and even smash attacks at low percent. With this move, we can dash attack into Min Min up smash for much longer percents than Greninja's, or dash attack into Ivy up air, or Cloud back air. Oh, oh this is gonna be so stupid, fellas. We have so much potential here. For down smash, we gotta go with Game & Watches. We got some solid ones out there like Byleth's being strong as hell, Ness with the yo-yo and K. Rule who cheats, but Game & Watch is just infuriating. I was considering Wolf's down smash, but the berry property is straight up toxic for Game & Watch, and berry into mag F smash will murder. When up tilt is mentioned, most people think of Snake. And you definitely should, that move is busted. But I think we're better off with Falco's up tilt here. With Snake down throw, we could easily do down throw, tech chase into up tilt, Ivysaur up air. Up air kills Kirby at this height at 90%, 
until we have a free confirm starting at around 100% for most characters. But something tells me a lot of characters won't be making it 100% against George. There are so many good side B's we can use like Bowser's Frame 6 Command Grab, Roy's Stupid Dancing Blade, Flaming Edge, Cart, Spin Dash, all busted. I want a Flare Blitz for a moment because we can do Snake Down Throw and Tech Chase with Flare Blitz. But unfortunately, Flare Bliss is way too slow. So I want to choose Monkey Flip. This move is not only busted in neutral, as you can see by how much even pro diddies use it, but also ZSS Jump Height, Game Watch, Up B, Azair, and Monkey Flip will give us an absolutely busted recovery. If any of you want to give George a fucking counter for down B, the door's over there! Here I wanted to have rest, but I don't think we can really true combo into it easily. You know, I was seeing if we could do Falco Up Tilt to rest, but I don't think that's true or guaranteed. So instead, I want to give us something reliable. Banana. This shit is going to be so broken with George. Imagine the bare basic banana to Game & Watch Down Smash into Mac F Smash. We could threaten people's lives at 50%. Now, I know some of y'all are screaming at me for not having Flip Kick, but I honestly think Game & Watch Up B is a solid tool and disadvantage on its own. It could help with recovery, but George already has a stupid recovery. We have so much that can be abused with this character that Banana will make our life so much easier by being able to combo into stuff for free. Also, we need at least one projectile to really have everything. And look at this, fellas. Tell me this isn't the pure image of fear. For Nair, we have Lynx. There's a bunch of good-ass Nairs like Ridley, who has a huge one, or Palus, who combos great, and Yoshi, who's got a thick one. But Link's foot is extremely dangerous. It destroys projectiles, free-ass approach, safe on shield, kills, nothing it can't do. I was debating between this one and Ike's, but after going down the list, we have so many good combo tools already with up tilt, dash attack, and two throws that I think Link's would serve us better. Well, fellas, that's it for the move set. But as you can see, there are three very important spots we gotta fill. The taunts. So first things first, we gotta lay down the law with some taunts. Show me a move. Show me your moves? Show me a move. We cannot take this one. We cannot and never will be Falcon. And taking this would be sacrilegious. For other taunts, it wouldn't make as much sense to take especially cannon taunts like Inkling Taunt. Please don't ever f***ing make this noise if you're not Inkling. We also can't make side taunts, our up taunts, or down taunts, our side taunts. They gotta stay in their respective taunt direction. Also, just because a taunt has a hurtbox doesn't make it a free pick. Part of the game is a psychological warfare with taunts, you know? For up taunt, we got many goats such as Fox powering up, Ness okay, and honestly, Kasia up taunt is pretty goaded. He looks so smug like he just found a spelling mistake in your argument against him. However, these are inferior baby taunts compared to the potential we have with Shulk. If we take Shulk's up taunt, it would technically be, now it's George time. Sign me the f*** up. Jokers would also have been sick as hell with looking cool George, but it wouldn't have made as much sense having Morgana there. So Shulk wins. First side taunt, we got some classics like Come On with Falcon, which isn't as sacred as Show Me Your Move, so we're good. Roy's side taunt, which is only good if he's spamming it. Ken's side taunt, and Peach's la 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 la. Honestly, one of my favorite taunts in the game is Ken's Get Serious. It sounds so sick and condescending. Oh, it's really cool. Definitely would add it. And yeah, I'm aware Kasia's side taunt does like 21%, but... And it kind of loses its appeal after the first few times. Now, I will never get tired of Ken, though. For downtown, we got the Luigi kill move, Zelda's cheerful wave, the young Link milk power up, and Ridley standing straight. But I'm gonna do something spicy and go with Wolf's taunt. This shit is atrocious and kind of embarrassing, but only because of how sick it was on Wolf in Brawl. So imagine a normal ass person making this noise. Raw! <laughs> it's kind of f***ing funny. So I think I'm gonna roll with it. And that's officially the list, baby. I said I'd come back to neutral B, and if I had to change it, I'd say Samus's would be our best bet. Yeah, Joker and Pikachu guy especially busted neutral Bs. But while Samus's charge shot is relatively simple, it does so much damage, would work great with our tools, and would give us a busted zoning tool. So yeah, that's it for real. Thanks so much for watching, fellas. Catch you later.